Hello and welcome to the introduction video for the MVP series for the first person shooter. So first off, MVP series. This stands for minimum viable product. Basically, this is something that you would pitch to someone if you want to explain how the basic mechanics of your game might go. Or you could think of it as like a template or a prototype. This is going to be the basics of a first person shooter, covering things like being able to move and fire and maybe a basic heads up display. And it's intended to be the starting of a first person shooter. Now we are going to cover everything from creating a blank project all the way up to the game over screen. And then this will give us a good base to add on later. So we're only going to be using items that come with a blank project. We are adding nothing to it so that way we don't require anything extra and it's really easy to follow along with. Let me go ahead and run this example and you'll see what we're going to cover. So as you can see here, we just have a basic little platform we're on. We can move. We have a crosshair in the middle of the screen. We can fire at something. It'll leave a little poof, a little particle effect that pops up. If we hit one of our targets, it will get destroyed. Or in the case of this one, this target has multiple health values and it's going to change in color as it takes its three points of damage. Once we're over, it's going to display our final score. We have the ability to quit or restart. If we restart, we go back to the game. If you notice in the bottom left corner, we have a score. That score will go up every time we destroy something. We also get bonus points when we destroy it for the last time. And again, any order will allow us to completely finish the game. Once we hit quit, we'll quit back into our editor and the game will be done. So that is it. That was our introduction. This is going to be a 10 part series with this being the first part video. There will also be an accompanying text PDF document that will basically explain what's going on in each video. If you kind of want to see an overview or maybe you want to follow along with a written documentation. There will also be a section making sure that you learned all the important parts as well as some optional sections to try additional things.